Can I still deliver blood yeah, to all no. parts of the brain? Yeah. Yeah, because blood can come where? From here to here, right? From here to here, right? Isn't that clever? If I had a clot, you know, of any of the vessels coming in, I have what? Alternate circulation. But that's not the real reason. So you know it. Your author doesn't know it. My cardiologist didn't know it. Don't feel bad. <laughs> the real answer is that the pressure, the blood pressure in the circle, in the circle, is the average of all the blood coming in. Why is that important? If one blood vessel should suddenly dilate and what? Bring in what? More blood at a higher pressure, it'll be dampened because the total pressure will be the what? Average pressure of all the vessels coming in. Does that make sense to you? Or if one vessel, the blood pressure was low, it wouldn't have as great an effect as the other three. And that's what prevents you from getting strokes. You know, when people blow blood vessels, with me? When we attempt to blow blood vessels in the brain, if all four vessels, the two vertebral and the two uh, internal carotids, all what? Had high blood pressure coming into the circle, then you're screwed, right? But overall, if one vessel should what? Who brings blood in, right? There were four, two vertebral and two internal carotid. If one of them should what, have, have high blood pressure, it won't affect the circle that much, right? It's an average. You all understand that? Mm -hmm. Good. 